Hi guys, welcome back to Vape Don't Smoke, it's Paul here. As you can see I am holding the Jomo Tech Lite 40 Watt Kit. And you all seen me review this, and this does happen to be the most popular video on my channel. Rightfully so, perhaps. Now, what I'm going to do, as you can probably notice, that there's something missing from here. It's a coil. Well, as as I have said, these coils, here it is here, they are available on Amazon and on Jomo Tech's own website, but how easy are they to rebuild? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rebuild this coil and see if we can get her going. So, um, yeah, let's let's give it a go. Now, as you can see, I've not actually done this already. This is simply my first attempt, but how hard can it be? So, we want to remove the pin from the bottom. And we also want to remove this little rubber grommet here. Uh, now, be careful because the one lead will already be hanging over the side so you want to kind of make sure that you push that in before you try and remove the little rubber grommet now i do need to get myself some new tweezers because as you can remember from one of my previous videos i did break mine okay so we've removed the little rubber grommet we're setting that to one side and you can see the second lead the second lead is there uh, and you can grab a hold of both leads and really it's just a case of gently but carefully pulling out the coil and there you go you have an empty shell and you have your used up rather old nasty coil uh, you can see That's the kind of coils that you get. So, we'll just stick that to one side. And the idea would be that we are going to fit a new coil down the middle and lining it up with these holes. Now, there's two ways. Let me just grab my little tool. Okay, so I have my little tool here, as you can see. Now, there's two ways we can do this. We can build the coil. Now, putting this through here, you can see that it lines up to the 2.5 mil size so it is we do want to kind of make sure that we're building a coil that is big enough to get the cotton through so what we can do is we can put the coil through and then feed the coil line the coil up with those that hole there and then feed the cotton through the hole out the other side making sure that the coil stays center the other thing that we can do is we can build the coil here put the cotton through it and then pull it through. Now I do believe that you've probably seen the first method a number of times so I'm going to give the second option a try which means we will not be building a micro coil. So we'll simply do five or six wraps around this tool. So I'm going to get some cantle wire and I'm going to put five or six wraps around here and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so as you can see I have done 5 wraps of some 28 gauge cantle wire. I have done it on the 3mm section of the drill, the, the little tool. The reason why I've done the 3mm is because the holes on the side do measure 2.5mm. Now, just to be clear, if you are going to use the other method where you're going to put the coil in first and then feed the wick through the holes, you do need to have a 2.5mm coil so if you've got a 2.5 mil coil when you feed the coil through you will then get connection with the coil um, if you don't, if, when you put the cotton through sorry the way I'm going to do it's a little bit different um, and like I said I haven't done that this way before so I do hope that it works but as you can see it is a space coil uh, and we'll just get some cotton so what I've got here is some Muji cotton uh, I'm just going to do a little pinch at one end and I'm just going to feed that through the coil just like so nothing difficult here guys I'm not a trained coil maker or anything like that as you can see just a bog standard basic little coil with a little bit of cotton through it okay so now what we need to do is we need to get the coil in here so first the easiest thing to do really is just to kind of place the coil on top as you can see there so you do need a little bit of cotton on each side 
So just take our scissors and we're just going to cut a little bit off there and the same on the other side. Scissors are getting a little bit blunt by the looks of it. Anyway, there you go. Like so. Okay, so we don't need all this wire at the bottom, so I'm going to just trim the leads a little bit. Not too much, because it is easier to work with leads that are a little bit longer. But we just need to trim them off just ever so slightly. Okay, so you want to put the coil into the top half of the, the coil head. Just get this out of the way so that you stay in focus. Uh, and you do want to make sure that the cotton is lining up with the holes on the side. So let's feed it through. And now it's coming out. And we just want to kind of... Now you'll see that the leads will go up. That's normal. We want that. And then... There you go. Same on both sides. Nice and relaxed. And our coil is nice and covered. We can straighten it out a little bit. And, like and then so. what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the little rubber grommet. Just feeding that over. And the little rubber grommet has a little bit there. Push that in. This is a bit of a pain trying to get this in as well. But we'll get there. There we go. Oh, sorry. I thought that was on camera. So the little rubber grommet does have two little push bins that are fitting in those little grooves. You probably can't see. Just there. And then we can fold that down. Okay, just like that. So now what we can do is go ahead and trim this one lead. We want it to be as short as we can possibly get it. Just like that, nice and short. And the second lead now, we put that through there. Sorry, no, we don't. The second lead now can be pushed on the other side. No, that's not right, that way. So we just kind of force that in, like so. Keeping the coil straight, give it a little tight, and snip it down, just like that. Okay guys, so uh, we have rebuilt our Jomotech Light 40 watt kit coil, uh, that's what it looks like, for a vape. Okay guys, so that is how you recoil your Jomotech light tank. If you do order this kit from Fast Tech or from Jomotech or from anywhere else that sells it. Uh, I do believe Amazon sell it as well. Um, and you run out of coils, you can easily recoil one of your tanks. So that's how you do it. Let's see how it works. Now I've got the airflow control fully open in this tank and um, the battery is uh, about 70% fully charged so I should be getting a nice 4 volts at least. There you go guys, good flavour, good vapour production, it took me 5 minutes to do it. You know, it, it, these coils are, are, are very, very easy to do that. I'm seeing bubbles going up, so very easy to wick. Uh, sorry, it's wicking really well. And uh, this is a 70% 70, 70 VG juice. So no problem with thick juice either. And uh, this, the review I did for this device is actually my most popular video. So I hopefully this, this video will also help you guys make your decision on whether to pick this up. I do like this little device, guys. And now that we can re -wick the co uh, recoil the recoil the coil um, it's a it's a no-brainer if you ask me so if you are looking for a cheap mod cheap setup that comes with a tank um, and does have coil heads that you can rebuild you may me you may want to check this one out I'll post a link to the fa fast tech where I picked mine up from 
And whatever you do guys, as always, thanks for watching. And vape, don't smoke. Ooh.